A telephone numbering plan is a type of numbering scheme used in telecommunication to assign telephone numbers to subscriber telephones or other telephony endpoints. Telephone numbers are the addresses of participants in a telephone network, reachable by a system of destination code routing. Telephone numbering plans are defined in each of administrative regions of the public switch telephone network and they are also present in private telephone networks. Numbering plans may follow a variety of design strategies which have often arisen from the historical evolution of individual telephone networks and local requirements. A broad division is commonly recognized, distinguishing open numbering plans and closed numbering plans. A closed numbering plan imposes a fixed number of digits to every telephone number, while an open numbering plan allows variance in the numbers of digits. Many numbering plans subdivide their territory of service into geographic regions designated by an area code, which is a fixed length or variable length set of digits forming the most significant part of the dialing sequence to reach a telephone subscriber. The North American numbering plan is a closed numbering plan which prescribes 10 digits for each complete destination routing code that is divided into three parts. The most significant part is a three-digit numbering plan area code. Within each plan area central offices are numbered with a three-digit central office code, the second part. The remaining four digits number the specific line assigned to each telephone. Other countries with open numbering plans may use variable length numbers. In some, such as Finland, subscriber numbers may vary in length even within a local exchange. The International Telecommunication Union has established a comprehensive numbering plan, designated E-164, for uniform interoperability of the networks of its member state or regional administrations. It is an open numbering plan, however, imposing a maximum length of 15 digits to telephone numbers. The standard defines a country calling code for each state or region which is prefixed to each national numbering plan telephone number for international destination routing. Private numbering plans exist in telephone networks that are privately operated in an enterprise or organizational campus. Such systems may be supported by a private branch exchange which controls internal communications between telephone extensions. In contrast to numbering plans, which determine telephone numbers assigned to subscriber stations, a dial plan establishes the customer dialing procedures, i.e., the sequence of digits users are required to dial to reach a destination. Even in closed numbering plans, it is not always necessary to dial all digits of a number. For example, an area code may often be emitted when the destination is in the same area as the calling station. History In early telephone systems, connections were made in the central office by switchboard operators using patch cords to connect one party to another. To make a telephone call, a person would wind a crank to generate a ring signal to the central office operator, either before or after the user took the telephone handset off hook. At the central office a gong or later an electric light indicated the need to respond to the customer, upon which the operator inserted a patch cord into a socket and assisted the customer with the call by voice. Another patch cord connected the caller to the destination telephone line. If the destination party belonged to another exchange, the operator used the patch cord to connect to that exchange where an operator would complete the call setup. As technology advanced, automatic electromechanical switches were introduced and telephones were equipped initially with rotary dials for pulse dialing and then touch tone keypads in the 1960s which increased the speed of dialing and enabled other vertical telephone features. Initial use of area codes in the United States and Canada began in 1947 in large cities for connecting long-distance telephone calls between toll switching centers. The first customer dialed long-distance calls were possible in Englewood, NJ in 1951. By 1966, the system was implemented fully in both countries. 
The Bell system organized the numbering plan to minimize the cost of providing automatic dialing to large population centers. Electromechanical switching systems, the technology used until the 1960s, imposed limitation on the speed of dialing a digit. Dialing a complete 10-digit telephone number could take up to 10 seconds, during which hardware resources had to be dedicated to a circuit. The time to dial a digit was directly proportional to the digit, with the exception of the zero, which required 10 pulses or 1 second. The area codes for a few large cities in the U.S. were initially assigned based on the volume of telephone calls made in each area. The most populous areas received codes that required the least time for dialing using a rotary dial telephone. The densely populated areas of New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Detroit had large incoming call volume and were assigned the shortest area codes, 212, 312, 213, and 313, respectively. Areas that covered an entire province or state had zero as the middle digit. The first area code installed was 201 for New Jersey, while the District of Columbia received the second code. The second digit of all original area codes was 0 or 1, while the second digit of the three-digit exchange code was never 0 or 1, thus facilitating the recognition of whether a user was dialing a full 10-digit number or merely dialing within the local area code. Toll operators were able to differentiate between the two types of areas from the middle digit of the area code when a routing operator had to be consulted. By the 1990s, the electromechanical central office switches were replaced with electronic switching system equipment and the previous area code logic was no longer necessary. The demand for telephone numbers was increasing rapidly, and the remaining N0 and N1N combinations were insufficient to sustain growth. This area code scheme was abandoned, with the result that area codes and central office codes could not necessarily be automatically distinguished by the switching equipment. The solution was to require the dialing of a preceding one for calls across area codes, in which case the equipment expected 10 more digits. If the first digit dialed was not a 1, only 7 digits were expected and the area code was inferred from the originating subscriber's area code. For a short while, in some area codes, one could enter the full 11 digits for a call within their own neighborhood or just enter the last 7 digits and the call would be routed and billed identically. The rising popularity of fax machines and pages required far more telephone numbers than were anticipated in the design of the numbering system. As a remedy, the restrictions on the format of area codes were eased. Since 1995, over 380 new area codes were added to the North American numbering plan. Some areas use area code splits, by which an existing numbering plan area was split into multiple divisions each assigned a new area code. Thus, many businesses were required to reprint business stationery, catalogues, and directories. Area code splits were often contested as to which area could keep the existing code, which usually fell to the largest city. For example, 305 was split in 1995, and had served both the Miami and Fort Lauderdale area. Dade County kept 305 and Broward County had to change to 954. Another method was using area code overlays, which avoided renumbering existing stations. An overlay is a new area code that covers the same geographical area as an existing code. Over 75 overlays have been introduced since 1995. Area code overlays typically require that the full 10-digit number is dialed. As a result of Internet-based telephony services, area codes often no longer correspond to the actual geographic locations of telephone equipment. Structure. Most telephone numbers belong to the E-164 numbering plan, though some PABXs have internal extensions. The E-164 numbering plan for telephone numbers includes country calling codes, regional numbering plans, such as 
the European Telephony Numbering Space, the North American Numbering Plan, various national numbering plans, such as telephone numbers in the United Kingdom. Apart from the use of numbering plans for telephone numbers, they are also used in routing of signaling system 7 signaling messages as part of the global title. In public land mobile networks, the E212 numbering plan is used for subscriber identities while E214 is used for routing database queries across PSTN networks. Country code Country codes are necessary only when dialing telephone numbers in other countries. These are dialed before the national telephone number. By convention, international telephone numbers are indicated by prefixing the country code with a plus sign, which is meant to indicate that the subscriber must dial the international dialing prefix in the country from which the call is placed. For example, the international dialing prefix or access code in all NANP countries is 011, while it is 00 in most European countries. On GSM networks, PLUS is an actual keypad code that may be recognized automatically by the network carrier in place of the international access code. Area code Many numbering plans that is structured based on geographic or areas of the service territory. Each plan area is assigned a numeric routing code, called area code, prefixed to the telephone numbers assigned within each area. National telecommunication authorities use various formats for area codes. A fixed length, e.g., three digits in the United States and Canada as defined in the NANP, two digits in Brazil, one digit in Australia and New Zealand. A variable length, e.g., between two and five in Germany, Argentina, United Kingdom and in Austria, between one and five in Japan, one or two in Syria and Peru or area codes may also be included in the subscriber number, as is the case in many countries, such as Spain, Norway or Uruguay. These systems use a closed telephone numbering plan. In the North American numbering plan, area codes are known as numbering plan area codes. In the UK, they were known as subscriber trunk dialing codes. Depending on local dial plans, they are often necessary only when dialed from outside the code area, from mobile phones, and, especially within North America, within overlay plans. Area codes historically designated geographical areas served by perhaps hundreds of telephone exchanges. Although the strict correlation to a geographical area has been broken by technical advances, the area code is usually preceded in the dialing sequence by either the national access code or the international access code in country code. However, this is not always the case, especially when 10-digit dialing is used. For example, in Montreal, where area codes 514, 438, 450 and 579 are in use, uses dial 10-digit numbers. Dialing a 1 before this results in a recording advising not to dial a 1 as it is a local call. For non-geographic numbers, as well as mobile telephones outside of the North American numbering plan area, the area code does not correlate to a particular geographic area. However, until the 1990s, some areas in the United States and Canada required the use of a 1 before dialing a 7-digit number within the same area code if the call was beyond the local toll-free area, indicating that the caller wished to make what was referred to as a toll call. Area codes are often quoted by including the national access code. For example, a number in London should be listed as 020-8765-4321. Users must correctly interpret the 020 as the code for London. If they call from another station within London, they may merely dial 8765-4321, or if dialing from another country, the initial zero should be omitted after the country code. 4420-8765-4321. Area codes were introduced in the United States by the Bell System in 1947. 
The first directly dialed long-distance call occurred in 1951, when the Bell system designed the area codes concept. The three-digit format was NBX, where N could be any digit from 2 through 9, B either 0 or 1, and DEX any digits since all telephones in this era used pulse dialing mechanisms. The engineers sought to reduce the time required for dialing during which a circuit had to be dedicated, as well as lower the overall mechanical wear by reducing the number of clicks on numbers that are dialed most often. Areas with higher call volume would be assigned lower first and third digits and a 1 as the center digit. The digit 0 was at the end of the dial, after 9, making 0 the longest digit to dial. In addition, an effort was made to avoid nearby areas having similar area codes, to avoid confusion and misdialed numbers. New York, having the highest call volume, was assigned the 212 area code, the shortest code that could be dialed. This was followed by Los Angeles at 213, and Chicago at 312. The next code, 313, designated Detroit, because it had a larger call volume than Philadelphia, the next largest in population at the time. Philadelphia received the area code 215, while the Dallas area received 214, Fort Worth 817. In 1995, during the expansion of area codes the center digit rule was relaxed, defining it as any digit except 9. 9 as the middle digit of an NPA is reserved in case the three-digit area codes pool is exhausted and has to be augmented to four digits. Subscriber number The subscriber number is the number assigned to a line connected to one customer's equipment. It must always be dialed in its entirety. The first few digits of the subscriber number typically indicate smaller geographical areas or individual telephone exchanges. In mobile networks they may indicate the network provider. Callers in a given area or country usually do not need to include the particular area prefixes when dialing within the same area. Devices that dial telephone numbers automatically may include the full number with area and access codes. Area code and call pricing In countries other than the United States and Canada, the area codes generally determine the cost of a call, and calls within an area code and often a small group of adjacent or overlapping area codes are normally charged at a lower rate than outside the area code. This is not necessarily the case in the United States or Canada, where area codes cover a sufficiently large territory that different rates will apply within the same area code and toll rates may be determined by the distance between rate centers. For any given telephone number, the area code plus the first three digits following the area code defines its rate center, which is assigned geographic coordinates V and H. Each rate center has a local calling plan that determines which other rate centers are a local call, regardless of distance. And other tolls are based on the tariff distance in miles between the two rate centers using this formula. Therefore, calls between nearby rate centers in different area codes may be cheaper as compared to calls to more distant rate centers in the same area code. Rates are set in zones of 0 to 6 miles, 6 to 12 miles, and so on, with these bands determined on a state-by-state -state basis for intrastate calls and determined by federal regulation for interstate calls. As a specific example, callers in the Falls Church, Virginia, rate center may make untimed local calls to 31 other nearby rate centers in Virginia, Maryland, and the District of Columbia in area codes 703, 571, 202, 301, and 240, while calls to distant locations in 703 such as Manassas and Haymarket, VA, are charged as long distance. Calls within a state, are regulated by that state's Public Utilities Commission, are often higher than rates to call more distant locations in some other 
state, regulated by the Federal Communications Commission. The partial deregulation and introduction of competition for long-distance phone services has established other methods of determining call pricing that do not necessarily follow the traditional model. Each year, more customers switch to a fixed rate, or you can dial plan covering the state, the United States, or all North America generally for approximately $30 per month. Competition with cable telephony and voice over Internet protocol services has helped drive the cost of service down for residential and business customers. Special area codes are generally used for free, premium rate, mobile phone systems and other special rate numbers. There are, however, some exceptions. In some countries, calls are charged at the same rate regardless of area and in others an area code is occasionally treated as two areas with different rates. Landline telephony operators in United States maintain a separate pricing structure for intralata phone calls, also known as local long distance. The tariff rate for these calls to nearby areas may greatly exceed the rates for long distance domestic calls that are on the other side of the continent.